Sometimes when you're working with a Pro Tools session, you need to move from one location to another. And when you do this, you need to make sure that you move everything into a Pro Tools folder. If you don't, and you just have the Pro Tools file, it won't load everything you need. Even that's not enough though, because if you've dragged in files from other locations, like if you've ripped things from the internet, or taking things from another audio program and put them into your Pro Tools session. Those things may not actually be saved in your folder, but instead they may be um, linked to the Pro Tools session. And what that means is they're left on the original computer so that when you bring it to a new location, they're not going to be there. Pro Tools won't be able to find them. So in order to combat that problem, you're going to need to bring all the files that you brought into your session into your Pro Tools folder. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So first you're going to go just to File and to Save a Copy In. This is going to make a copy of your whole session. Then you're going to want to um, decide if you need to save it for Pro Tools 12 or later or something like that. This is the 2018 or some earlier version. The main thing to do really is to click on Audio Files. That's going to save all your files. Um, that you've brought in, maybe dragged in, brought from a different program, a different DAW or something. You don't really need to do anything else. Once you're done with all that, you'll just hit OK. After you hit OK, it's going to ask you where you want to save that and to give it a name, so name it the same thing but movable. And it's going to take everything that you were linked to and it's going to bring it all into a new file folder. There's a movable one. And look at this, you can see audio files are in there. It's taken the one that we dragged in and made an audio file folder. Once I've got that, I'm going to load it back up. I'm going to bounce it to disk so I have an exported copy, making sure that it's not on multiple mono, um, but rather that it's on stereo interleaved. Make sure it's in the correct folder and everything, and bounce. Gives us the MP3 options. Now it bounces everything out. And after this, we can go ahead and test out our files, make sure everything's there. Most importantly, once you look in the Finder folder, we see that we have an Audio Files folder, and we have a Bounced Files folder that contains our exported audio. So now we should have everything we need in one folder, and we should be able to move it from this location to a new location. Thank you.